Thank you. Grizzly, we got something in a big box here. You want to see what it is? Yeah? Get in on that, buddy. Tear it open. Tear the box open. Are you helping, buddy? Are you helping? Oh, I went right off the line. Hey, what is this stuff, buddy? Hey, what is in there? What's in there? Box. Mm -hmm. Crazy, open that up, buddy. Hey, what? Mm -hmm. What? Rich? Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. Ooh. Ooh, look at this thing. Wow. That looks awesome, man. That looks sweet. Black. Hold on a second. This one goes in my van too. <laughs> what? You said no. What? You want it? Sure. Hey, you guys. So companies reach out to me all the time, and they always want to give me products for the inside of my van. This time, I had a fridge company reach out to me, so I did a little bit of research on the product and found out that it has the proper Seacop Danfoss compressor inside of it, which is the compressor you want in any fridge that you buy. And well, since I don't need a fridge, we decided to say yes to this product and we're gonna give it to Jeffy Bear as his new permanent 12 volt fridge in his van. And then we'll check in on him from time to time to kind of see how good the product is. I'm super stoked that he's getting this. You're making a mess there, bud. Ooh -wee. Ooh. Look at that thing. Holy shit, that's a nice looking fridge. So this is from a company called Iceco, and uh, yeah, man. Ah, oh, dude, that's so good. It's a sweet looking fridge. This thing. Mm. Hey. Oh, look at that. And because you don't drink, that's a lot of fridge space. See, I just fill that with beer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. It's got a little divider. Oh, what do you got there? Oh. Uh -huh. Awesome. Ooh. Look at that. So yeah, on the inside of here, we've got a basket. This little metal thing, I'm guessing, is a divider here if you want to split up your stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, crazy. Is that toothpick right here? Is this toothpick in your mouth make you make you tough? <laughs> crazy, you got a stick in your mouth, buddy. <laughs> you got a stick in your mouth. <laughs> So that is the Ice Code JP40 series fridge or freezer. So you can flip that either or if you want to make that 100% dedicated freezer, you can do that, which is amazing because I know in my van, um, I have a fridge freezer combo and in my van, I know that the freezer part is more exciting because then you can keep stuff and take off into the back country and know you have meat and other frozen products in your van, which will last you longer when you're off grid where a fridge, anything you throw into a fridge, has an expiry date. So sooner or later, the fridge is gonna be empty. So me, myself, I get stoked about the freezer side of it. But yeah, now Jeff has an option to choose whatever he wants, a fridge or a freezer. Um, one thing I found really cool about these fridges or freezers is that they all have the same footprint. So all of them are this exact size on the base of it and Instead of some of the other ones, when you know you get to a bigger size, they get wider, they get longer. This one has one standard footprint, and then they go either shorter or taller, depending on how large of a space you need in size. So this one here is 37.5 liters of space, and uh, they should have called it the JP 37.5, but it's the JP 40. All right, let's get this thing inside of Jeffy's van. Something else I found pretty cool is right here on the side, it has these two little 
things on each end. That's where the handles should be. And I like it that this thing doesn't come with the handles installed. It all comes right here in the kit down there, so you can add handles if you need them. But sometimes when you're dealing with a space in the van, you know, having that two or three inches of space gone off of here is great because otherwise you're dealing with something that's gonna be way longer and then having to take it apart if you don't actually need to move it, I think it's I think it's a smarter idea to come without them. What do you want? I was gonna say you may need to at some point put a board in there to make it the same level. Okay, I'll, I'll so do for that. now we'll just throw a box underneath there or I'll something. Do that. Hey, buddy. Jeff's gonna be putting the fridge right here between the drivers and the passenger seat because he doesn't enter the back of the van through here like I do. I climb over that, which is a pain in the butt to go over the doghouse to get back here. He goes around and inside the side door. So he's chosen to put it right here, which is awesome. It's a great use of space instead of having this inside the back of the van. Um, I'm going to contact these guys. They were supposed to send me out a tray that goes on the bottom. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen those um, fridge locking trays where it goes onto it. You'll unlatch it and you can pull the fridge out while it still stays bolted to the platform. Um, when I talked to them, I said, we need to get that piece. Maybe it's on the way and hasn't showed up. But um, by having that, he can latch it, pull this all the way out swivel his seat around and slide it back into place because as a right here right now this thing won't swivel into here so he'll have to pull this out of the way every time he needs to swivel the seat so having that locking base is awesome all right box of goodies box of goodies oh he's the handles i hope they came with the instructions <laughs> oh you know So obviously this fridge um, has two plug-in options. You can plug it into a standard wall plug or you can plug it into 12 volt, which is what we're gonna do because every van runs 12 volt. You're gonna get better use of your power without running this thing through your inverter. So that's gonna be plugged into the back. And just for now, I'm gonna set Jeff, Jeff up this way. We're gonna plug it into the cigarette lighter right back here on the top of his switch panel. And then uh, whenever he gets some time, he can cut this cable and connect it to the back of one of your switches. Or better yet, cut that cable connected to your fuse block because it needs constant power, right? So send that to your fuse block, but that's all you'd have to do is like take the other end of this and splice it right into your power unit up top there. So down here on the fridge, it has a 15 amp fuse. So if uh, you ever has a problem with it, you can check this fuse here. It should just be able to pop right out. I'm gonna run it right here into his 12 volt. Go over here on this side. Power. But a boom! We got power, baby. All right. You should read the instructions. It's on max. Read instructions. <laughs> here we go. Man up, man up, and read the instructions. Getting started. And that little blue light in here, Jeff. Huh? Little blue light in there. Your light in there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Look at that, man. That's a cat's meow. So we'll check back in with you from time to time and see how that thing's doing. Thank you very much. I'm pretty Ice stoked. Cold. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I am stoked on this one. I'm a little tired because I drove. <laughs> he made me go pick up some stuff for him. So I'm not as excited as I normally would be. Okay, so but we're I, good. I messaged Jeff and I'm like, hey Jeff, are you going into Vancouver at all? He's like, no. I'm like, your fridge is in. Okay, I'll go get it. And then just as he leaves Squamish, I was like, ring. Hey. He's like, hey. I'm like, do you mind grabbing all of my packages from the mailbox at the same time? Because he's using the same mail service company that I use, so thank you, thank you, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You're <laughs> I welcome. appreciate you're it. You're
bro fist, no bite me, bro fist. Come on, buddy, bro fist. That a boy. We slept right beside a senior's home and a McDonald's. Good morning, everyone. We're in Campbell River, BC on Vancouver Island. Having a fridge in my own van. So many people told me at the beginning of my van life that having a fridge would change my world. And I was stubborn. I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I have a story. All I heard about for the longest time was Chrome, you need to get a fridge because it'll change everything in your life. Well, let me tell you something. It didn't. What changed my life was having a freezer. So in my van, I have a fridge freezer combination. So having the freezer option is a beautiful thing. But that's why I accepted this thing from Iceco because I went online and I seen that they have the good quality compressor that you want in a fridge, which is the Dan Foss Seacop compressor. And I was like, okay, I'm intrigued. The price point was super good. I'm like, all right. Then I noticed that they have a fridge freezer combo that is boxy and square and kind of metal and looks just like mine, just a different color. I was intrigued because I always wondered because what, what, what would I replace mine with if mine ever broke or got damaged in the back country or something? Because the unique brand fridge that I bought, they don't manufacture that one anymore. And I like that one. So because they don't manufacture them, I'm like, well, what am I gonna put in place on that little spot? And then I seen this one, I'm like, okay. That is why I said yes to them and uh, got Jeff a fridge. And Jeff's fridge is pretty cool. It's the JP40, uh, which is a 37 and a half liter or whatever it is, but it's the fridge or freezer. So he can turn that whole thing into a freezer if he wants, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we'll keep you guys posted on how everything does there. Um, it's been a couple of days since the intro of this video. So Jeff told me yesterday that everything's working great and that he can barely like hear the compressor. I'm sure Jeff wears hearing aids, but he said even on high, he, can, he can't even hear that compressor kick in or kick off, which is awesome. He's probably got a much smaller compressor than what's in mine, because I have a 65 liter fridge freezer. But mine, you can hear it kick on and kick off every time, especially when I'm in bed. He said he's not hearing anything at all. Mind you, I also sleep right beside mine, so maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, guys, so let's talk about coolers and me starting van life, spending so much money on ice. So for, for two years in my van, I bought ice. Every single week I would spend who knows what on ice, sometimes super cheap, sometimes a lot of money, depending on where I was or where I was traveling. So buying ice was not a problem and everybody was like chrome i can't believe you're still buying ice all these years later i couldn't afford a fridge and you got to start with what you can afford and for me to buy a couple three dollar bags of ice was easier than forking over a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars worth of money because i didn't have that kind of money then i didn't have the money to go out and put a thousand dollars on a fridge it just was not an option at that time so for me to invest, you know, five bucks a week, 10 bucks a week in the summer on ice was way more affordable. So start off with what you can afford and you don't need big fancy fridge freezer combos or fridges like the one that Jeff got. You don't need that stuff. You need whatever you can afford. And if that's going to a thrift store or buying yourself a cheap cooler and buying ice every week, then you go rock that. 
because I did for two years. Now that I have a fridge, every time I drive by an ice cooler in front of a corner store, I look at it, I'm like, eh, I don't gotta think about that stuff anymore. It is pretty damn awesome to have the luxury, let me tell you. I couldn't imagine van life today going back to a buying ice again, but it was never really a deal breaker from the beginning anyway. So if you gotta rock ice for a while, then go rock ice for a while because sooner or later, van life is gonna give back to you what you've put into it. And that means you're gonna have the chance in due time to build the van of your dreams just like I did. I started off broke buying ice every day. And <laughs> now I got the luxuries of a damn fridge freezer combo. Pretty cool. Anyway, you guys, I'll keep you posted on this Ice Coat brand JP40 cooler. Um, but right now we're on Vancouver Island and we are about to take off way back there in the bush somewhere and go explore. So there might be a few gaps and breaks in videos over the next week. I might not even see you guys for a week. I don't know, but I'm shoving myself back there somewhere and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be no Wi-Fi and no cell service for a little while. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care, all right? See ya.